In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how I can use the TI-84 graphing calculator to come up with the equation of the tangent line. This is a pretty common um, task in Calculus 1, and in all honesty, you should be able to do this by hand. So up here in the background on the left, I have one of my videos up where I have worked it out by hand. The video is called Finding the Equation of the Tangent Line. You could find that on my channel. It probably would be worth your while to watch that, so just to make sure that you can do this by hand as well as on your calculator. All right, but um, I want this pulled up so that we can use this example here. Um, uh, the equation I'm going to be using is f of x equals the quantity 4x minus 1 to the third. I'm going to be finding that equation of the tangent line at the given point of 0, negative 1. And you're going to see then when we are all done, we're going to get a y equals 12x minus 1. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is come over to your calculator and put in that equation that you're dealing with. So parentheses 4x minus 1 and then raised to the third power. Okay, and then for the most part, I'm probably just going to zoom standard on this because I just need to get a general picture of this. Now, because of this equation, it is kind of really scrunched up around there. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to see the tangent line. You could use any of the zoom features, zoom box. You could change your window settings and kind of zoom in on this area in the center because I do want that tangent line appearing at x equals zero. Okay, I'm not going to do it. The emulator here is kind of slow when I go to zoom, so we're just going to go ahead and um, do it as is because mainly I just want that equation. Now, I am going to use the draw feature in order to draw that equation of the tangent line on my graph, so I'm going to do second draw. And then this menu comes up. I'm going to go down until I see five because I want the tangent line, so I'm going to select five. Now, if you are on one of the newer calculators, you'll see the word style come up here. Um, as of right now, it's showing you that the equation of the tangent line is going to be drawn in blue, but my equation is in blue. So it might be nice to select style and go in there and pick a different color for the tangent line. It'll stand out a little bit more that way. All right, now, um, at this point, you see the little blinking cursor, and it's sitting there waiting to find out, okay, well, where do you want that tangent line drawn at? What x value do you want? So you could arrow left or right to find the value, or just go ahead, and since I want it at x equals 0, the point 0, negative 1, I'm going to put in the x value of 0. It automatically pops up like that, and then when you hit enter, it's going to draw that equation of the tangent line after just a minute. Okay, now it is a scrunched up picture, so like I said, if you need to see the tangent line clearly, you're going to need to adjust your window setting or zoom in with your Z-Box feature. All right, now down here in this left-hand corner, once it is all done, it tells you that your tangent line was found at x equals 0, and then it gives you the equation of the line. Now, it does calculate y equals 12.000064x plus negative 1, and as you can see here in this video, in the background, I got a 12x minus 1 when I did it by hand. The calculator is going to be very, very precise. You're just going to need to realize that that slope is going to be 12. You do not need all those extra decimal places out when you write that equation equation of the tangent line. So just uh, one quick little video on how you can use that TI-84 calculator to come up with that equation of the tangent line. Um, definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.